famous yin yang ball, the ancient Chinese symbol for the opposing forces of life, right there. The yin and the yang, the up and the down, the opposing forces of the universe. Kind of the situation I'm in tonight. This crowd is so good that if the show sucks, I have no one to blame. <laughs> Making this crowd happy is the second easiest job you can ever have. First easiest, whoever gets to put Michael Jackson in the witness chair and create reasonable doubt. <laughs> How hard can that be? I don't even have a law degree, and I think I could get Michael Jackson, you know. I would just go, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there he is. That's all I have. Y'all get a good look at my boy. See if you think he's capable of anything out of the ordinary. There he is. Yeah, and I don't know. But it's a tough thing to prosecute Michael Jackson, you know, because everybody is entitled to a jury of their peers. There he is. Rhea, you can run the vacuum up and down the gene pool 24-7 without sucking up this much of whatever that has become. He has no fear. I want to tell you um, the story and visit the grave of... Um, Comic uh, Richard Jenny. Um, this was actually his real name. Uh, uh, Richard Jenny was his stage name. Real name, um, you know, Richard uh, Colangelo. So uh, I remember him, Richard Jenny, vaguely through Platypus Man. That was a uh, a show that was on UBN Nine here in New York. But um. Uh, you know, I've always been a big fan of comedy, and later on, you know, as, you know, I grew up, I started really getting into comedy. Um, Patrice O'Neill, Bill Burr, um, you know, Dice, put, just all these comics, um, and, and really got into comedy through the uh, Opie and Anthony show. And uh, that's actually where kind of became once again more familiar with Richard Jen Jenny, and we're outside the um, outside mausoleum of where he is buried as we're approaching uh, the grave here. Uh, Jenny, you know, on the O and A show when he came on, it was kind of a weird situation where. Um, he was trying to be a guest, but they wanted to talk to him on the phone first and were hanging up the phone on him. Then they wanted him in studio and kind of make make do, make make it better, the interview. And they never let him actually come in the studio. Just he was talking outside the studio door. And, and uh, it just felt weird. Like uh, a lot of abuse back and forth, and that is the uh, the grave of uh, Richard Jenny. And uh, Richard just Jenny just kind of felt like dejected, like embarrassed, like he just wanted to be in the studio. And I felt really bad for him. Uh, but you know, later it was just kind of uh, the guys did say Opie and Anthony that it was just a, a gag and they didn't mean it. You know, just kind of trying to uh, bust balls. And, you know, a lot of these comics, that's what they do. Um, whenever you ever have a bunch of comics in the same room, they, they kind of just bust each other's balls. And, uh, you know, Richard Jenny was no slouch. Ranked 57th on Comedy Central's top 100 greatest stand-ups of all time. Take a look. One of my favorite act uh, of joke or bit that he does is about uh, Michael Jackson. I'm sorry. Don't be offended. It's funny. Um, Jenny, uh, also known for being on um, The Mask uh, with Jim Carrey. A platypus man. I'm going to show you a clip after. Platypus man. Funny. Uh, it was on... Um, It was short-lived, 
Uh, but it was a very funny, funny show. Very underrated was Platypus Man. Uh, done a bunch of stand-ups. Um, frequent on the on the Tonight Show. Uh, Bill Maher. Just everywhere on the comic scene. Very underrated. If you don't follow for Zach. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away in 2007. Um, he had mental health problems. Um, and he, um, you know, he shot himself. Um, you know, one minute, you know, he was speaking about uh, laying in bed with his uh, girlfriend, speaking about the day ahead, what they planned to do. Uh, the girlfriend leaves the bedroom, goes to make breakfast downstairs, and then he shoots himself. You know, went to have a perfect, normal conversation. To then, unfortunately, committing suicide. So mental health is a problem. Uh, get help. Please speak to anyone. I really can. What America's most wanted chef. You're that guy with the cooking show. Meets New York's most beautiful flatfoot. Playboy. Ladies in blue. November. Page 52. Will he take the rap for indecent behavior? You are looking at my picture. Oh, no, I was reading an interview with Nelson Mandela. Fascinating. So handcuff yourself to the sofa with Richard Jenny, the platypus man. Next. Yours, you could die. And she won't take no for an answer. Physician, physician. <laughs> Will you get off the hook? 